Beautiful day like today may have you thinking about the beach. And with beaches in New England, come these guys. They can be dangerous. They can be. But new shark research is giving us a new perspective. It's revealing why they should be considered welcome members of the ecosystem. Monica Medea has more. Massachusetts' most notorious predator is key to a healthy ocean ecosystem. That according to a researcher who just wrapped up 20 years of studying white sharks in South Africa. Having top predators like great whites that help keep the balance. The Nova Scotia-based scientist, part of a team documenting what became the decline and eventual disappearance of great white sharks in Falls Bay, South Africa, the last sighting in 2018. This is where great whites are breaching out of the water, and, like, it was famous. Those waters are now taken over by seal and seven-gill sharks, disrupting the food chain. As a result, we then saw the things that, that the seals and the seven-gill sharks like to eat. Uh, sightings of those species declined in our underwater surveys. He blames the loss of the apex predator in South Africa to a number of factors, including netting to keep sharks away from beaches. There is a source of mortality um, that might be, you know, cumulative from, from human impacts. Here along the Massachusetts coast, the species is healthy, with sightings not uncommon. I did catch a shark. Last September, young white sharks were in shallow waters off Crane Beach in Ipswich, the water off limits for a time. A scary situation, but Hammerschlag, who works with researchers at Cape Cod's Atlantic White Shark Conservancy, says it's a sign of a healthy ocean. Well, I think that we are getting, you know, closer to what the historical numbers of, of great whites were. I don't think we're, we're at that level yet, but I think we're getting close. And, you know, nature figures itself out. If you leave it alone, it figures itself out. Monica Medea, NBC10 Boston.